can't complain now that you accepted the job and then you had to overnight the hats. All you had to do was say to him, listen, the new hat that you ordered, I can't get back to you in time. And the resizing one isn't easy. I can do that. That's not a big problem. But the new one that you want, I can't get back to you. And either I'm not going to take the order. But you didn't want to lose his business. It was already in process because he had paid me in increments. He sent the last payment for the order the week of his event. And? He did not tell me he was going to do that. So I wasn't sure if I would be able to do it, but I'm usually able to move quickly. Your Honor, I do what I do, and I'm great at it. Great. Terrific. You should have insured the hats. You didn't get the hats. No, ma'am. Neither one. The one that you paid for? No, ma'am. That was to be resized, or the one that cost $390? No, ma'am. You did get a $100 insurance check. Yes, ma'am. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. And I do have the check stub, if you would like. You cashed it? Yes, ma'am. The two hats that you had were $835 mm -hmm. together. You got $100 back. Yes, ma'am. Judging for the plaintiff for the amount of $735. We're finished. Wait, Thank Your you. Honor, I have a countersuit. Yeah, I know you do. Okay. You want to show it to me? You advertise online? Yes, ma'am. And he wrote something negative about your company after this happened. He tagged me in one, not one, but two posts. Because he wasn't responding. Just a second. And he said? He said some very negative things. No, no, just tell me what he said. I don't remember the post, but there is a video. I don't remember the post, but he went on in an 11-minute rant on social media about my business. That it was bad? Or yes. That, that it was bad or that he didn't get his property? Yes. He, yes what? Yes, ma'am. That, that it was bad? Well, he couldn't say it was bad because he had used He called my hats ugly. Yes, he did. He what? He called my hats ugly. Oh, why did you call his hats ugly? This is not what I paid for. He said, I didn't know he was sending these two hats. Is that what you sent instead of the hats? Yeah. I sent them as replacements to try and make up for the fact that the post office hasn't sent okay, his stuff to him, to him yet. Him yeah, he can have I don't want them. Yeah. He said they were ugly, and he inquired about that one. That was, was why I sent it. And, and when I inquired about it, it's still not worth the same amount of money. No, no, just, just give it back to me. He's <laughs> allowed to comment. Mr. Butler, he's allowed to comment if he's dissatisfied with your service. Yes, ma'am, but he's not allowed to drag my business on social media like that and tag me in these actual things. It wasn't right. Show me. It may not have been right, but he's allowed to do that Show if you, you advertise. I have the video. Let me see. He is allowed to do that. He's not allowed to say that you're a burglar, but he's allowed to say you have ugly hats. And he's allowed to say he didn't get his property and that you took his money. He's allowed to say that. But I didn't do that. Yes, you oh, did. Lord. I'm telling you that you should have insured the hats for what they were worth. I don't agree. I don't care I whether you agree. Apologize because it's still not the right items, still not the what, what I paid for. What's wrong with that? A showstopper in this little ugly hat, I don't even, she probably not even gonna wear. Yeah, I'm, I'm still upset. Okay. We're done. Because Thank you very thank much. You, $735. You, We're done. Why is that excuse when they step out?